Hi folks, welcome back to this OneNote class notebook series. Um, now I'm going to show you how to take that class notebook that's just been created and link it into your app so that you have offline access to that OneNote class notebook. This is a useful uh, video to also show to students so that they also can have access to the offline app uh, that offers a lot more functionality than OneNote online does. It also allows them offline access to any notes that they take during class, as well as allows them to automatically upload any assignments that they do offline as soon as they reconnect to Wi-Fi and have OneNote app open. Now, I have created already a class notebook. Uh, in order to open up that class notebook, I'm not going to necessarily return to the class notebook pane. Instead, the email that was generated and sent to all of my students is in the Outlook Mail app in Office 365. Here's a copy of that email that was sent to uh, one of my sample students here. Uh, this is a CC or a carbon copy of the email that was sent to students. And so this will provide you an opportunity to forward it to students that say were absent the other day and mistakenly deleted the email. Forwarding this email is a quick way to get them the link that they need if they've already been added to the notebook. Once I click on the OneNote notebook link, it should open in another tab in Safari. Now you'll notice that it is loading OneNote online. Uh, this is the online version of OneNote. You'll notice some design changes here. And in order to get the full functionality of, say, adding attachments, adding uh, voice recordings, and uh, some of the inking options, I'll need to open this OneNote class notebook, not necessarily in OneNote online, but I need to open it in my app. This is an important point uh, to take a moment for you to pause uh, this video and go find the OneNote app in Finder. I suggest that you open up the OneNote app first and log in using your Office 365 and linking the OneNote app to your account before proceeding. You can do that by opening up your Launchpad and finding the OneNote app uh, in any of those pages. It should be a purple uh, N with a symbol that looks like a binder. You can also search for it by typing out OneNote in that Launchpad bar or in Spotlight. My OneNote app is already authenticated. You'll see that I've already added a couple uh, notebooks to my app. And so I've gone through this process. And here's where if you've already set up your app um, and you've already logged in, you can go over to your Office 365 class notebook now and click on Edit in OneNote. What you'll see happen is uh, the app jump over and you'll see a progress bar of it telling you that uh, the OneNote notebook is opening and that changes are being synced. And the overall progress will take just a minute uh, depending on how many students you have and whether you've opened this notebook before. Now I do only need to link it once to uh, the app. You'll see that as I've added um, that Training 101 notebook. I need to switch to it in order to see um, my new student. This is uh, up in the top left corner where I would switch between different class notebooks. You'll see that I have my personal notebook and a couple other class notebooks already set up. So that's how you get offline access. Now all I've done uh, is click that link once and once I'm uh, done with say this class period I can go ahead and quit the OneNote app and then I can click to reopen it and you'll notice that the notebook's already there. So I only need to link uh, the Office 365 OneNote online version to my app that first time. Thanks for watching this uh, short tutorial. Next up will be how to use the class notebook tab uh, in order to send and receive student work. This is a new feature that was released in the summer of 2016 and really helps with the flow of classwork to and from students. But more on that in the next video.